it definitely has improved since the beginning. Uh, we were much slower, but right now, you know, we've got a system in my office in particular where if I'm seeing the patient and they need an iris, I turn off the computer, I turn off the lights, and we've got um, timers on each of the doors, and I set the timer for 10 minutes. So there's no staff interaction at that point. They're just waiting until the patient's been dilating on their own, and then they go in and do the images. So it really only takes five minutes of their time to go in there, get the images, and then download them. Um, and, you know, it just, it's a seamless process when the patient's ready and we talk about it, just dim the lights, let the staff know the timer's running, and then when they hear it beep, they can go in and get the images. So it really does not take a whole lot of time. Um, at the beginning, for sure, it, it's a learning curve, but um, our staff, you know, are, are on board and, and are getting really good at it. Yeah, as with most things, with practice and repetition comes skill development. Um, so your experience there, Dr. Markovich, is, is not unusual um, with respect to that learning curve. I will add to that that um, one of the things that uh, we think is vitally important to the success of these programs is the ongoing support that IRIS offers, not only during the initial implementation phase um, and what what our clients experience in that implementation phase is hands-on approach. Uh, we have the ability, particularly now with COVID, we can implement via a virtual process, uh, or we still uh, have capabilities of coming on site and doing in-person go lives and trainings. That's really a client decision on what you are most comfortable with, whether it's virtual or in-person. Um, but then on an ongoing basis, Iris has a team of folks that are client success directors. And I know Hank has had direct experience with our, with our client success director. That ongoing handholding that Iris provides is crucial to um, hitting goals and targets year after year. And